Do you want to walk in the glory of God, where the manifest presence of Jesus is your satisfaction and source of life? Is this what you want? This is the only thing I desire in this life, is to be possessed with the person of Jesus Christ, filled with Him. As Charles Spurgeon said, fill me with thyself, and then nothing but good can flow from me. In Ezekiel chapter 1, we see visions of the divine glory. These are preliminary manifestations of the glories of Christ. The first chapter, the 12th verse, we see concerning the heavenly beings, of which Jesus is the supreme. It says here, In verse 12, and each of the beings went straight forward wherever the Spirit was about to go, they would go without turning as they went. Here's the key to the heavenly beings. Heavenly beings do not turn as they go. They are submitted to the precious impulses, impartation, internal direction of the Holy Spirit. All movements are straight ahead without turning. Here's what I believe to be what the Lord is saying to some of us today that have this one goal as our goal, to be in union with God his precious spirit in our lives, in our families, in our workplaces, in our ministries. We must not turn aside. If we turn aside, we are not heavenly creatures. Heavenly creatures refuse to turn aside. Many things are going to come. We've all had them come. Life is full of things that are trying to get our attention. I want to encourage you that you are as filled with Christ, heavenly beings. Ephesians tells us that we have a simultaneous dwelling here on the earth and in the heavens. But if we're to be these wonderful heavenly beings on the earth, there's only one way to do this, and it is to be preoccupied with the person of the Spirit refusing to turn. We must stay fixed and set upon Him. Witness Lee once wrote that a lot of the church loves the things of Christ more than the person of Christ. But if we will stay fixed upon His person, refusing to turn away, we will be those who walk in the revelations of divine glory, which is the radiant beams that come forth from the face of Christ and then come out of us. I was with a dear friend today, uh, Rebecca King, and she said that Jesus told her he's not looking for perfection, he's looking for reflection. Oh, that's, that is gold. And I just want to encourage you, because I know if you're watching this video, you're the ones that want to walk in the glory of God in sync with the person of Christ, filled with the Spirit. If this is you, then I encourage you, don't let anything turn you aside. Stay fixed upon the presence of Jesus, which is the Holy Spirit. Now you say, Eric, I've been trying to, but I keep getting distracted. Listen, we're all learning this thing, but it's important that once you realize you've been distracted, turn right back and say, oh Lord, forgive me. I will not turn away from you. I will not turn away from attention to your presence. No matter how crazy things get, no matter how important something is, I refuse to give the attention that you deserve to other things. I think it is this attentiveness to the presence of the Spirit that is the key to being a heavenly being on the earth. So may the Lord just increase your attentiveness to Him. May the Lord just continue to um, unveil 
the wonders of his person as you give attention to the Spirit and refuse to turn away. Uh, one of the manifestations of these living creatures, because there's four faces on each one, it's a man, an eagle, an ox, and a lion. But one of them that we can't forget is that there's a man there. And I think that part of the reason for this is because we have to realize that we are human beings infused with the supernatural so that we're not high-flying strange things off to the side that are nothing like humans but we are actual basic human beings yet filled with the glory of God what, what am I trying to say I'm trying to say the glory of the person of Jesus Christ experienced in our lives is not separated from being a husband or being a wife or being a good worker or being a businessman or how we manage our funds or how we redecorate our house or anything in humanity is not separated from the divinity being experienced by us just because we love and adore the wonderful presence of Jesus and we give our time and attention to Him. It doesn't mean that we don't do regular things. That's the point of there being a man. One of the points I believe you can draw from there being a man, a part of this living creature. You can be a living creature, a heavenly being, and yet still be a human being and do human things quickened supernaturally so just want to encourage you with that I know many of you know these things but sometimes I think we separate a heavenly life and being a heavenly creature fixed and set upon the Lord from doing the dishes vacuuming a floor or attending a meeting or doing something you don't necessarily maybe it's schoolwork that you have to do listen if what Jesus gave us doesn't affect the way we live in this life, then there's no reason for us to have it in this life. But He gave us the wonderful Spirit who should have all of our attention and we should not turn away from our attention to Him in order to help us with everything in this life. He makes all things uh, easy because He Himself performs them through us. As a matter of fact, let me just tell you one more thing about this. In Ezekiel, the second chapter, Ezekiel's right after Lamentations 2. Listen to this. He said to me, God speaking, He said to me, Son of man, stand on your feet. This is very practical. Stand up. Get up. That I may speak with you. Look at this. And as he spoke to me, the Spirit entered me and stood me on my feet. You notice the most practical thing that God wanted to, or from, wanted from Ezekiel was that he would stand up. But when God spoke him to stand up, it stood him up. And I believe this is a great picture of the authentic Christian life, that we give our attention to the Lord. He speaks His Spirit into us as animating life source, life supply. And then that animation that we've received from the Spirit causes us to walk out the things God desires so that it's God fulfilling the thing himself through a yielded heart i've said it before and i'll say it again obedience is when a man's life is yielded to the extent that god can perform through the man the things he spoke to the man and in this case the installation of the spirit through which holiness is performed and obedience to god is performed it comes through hearing the voice of the lord so this is real Christianity. I, I encourage you to settle for nothing less than this. Even the most practical things in this life, 
we give our attention, we hear, the Spirit enters, the Spirit performs, God gets all the glory. This is the key. What do I do if God performs the whole thing? You give your attention and don't turn away. I remember Madame Guyon once said, rest. The only work you are required to do is to give your most intense attention to this still, small voice within. God will do it. God will do it in you. And you don't have to worry. And you don't have to struggle. You can trust Him. Just give your attention to His presence with you. Even there as you're watching this video, just turn attention to Him. Oh, you are here. I, I, I cannot get out of your presence. It's everywhere. So I'm aware of you. And I will linger here with you. And I will look to you for quickening and strength in life. Thank you, Lord. I just pray for every person watching. As simple as can be, I pray that they will choose to just come to you, knowing that from there you can do everything for them. That even if they're weak and empty and broken, that they will just simply come to you because there on your operating table, you can perform all the things necessary. That's all that matters is that you do it. So Lord, I pray, do that work. That work. Lord, we, we can't do it, Lord, but we can yield to you. We can look to you. <laughs> we can enjoy you. Oh, how I love you. Do these things in my friends, Lord. In your holy name, amen. Thank you guys for watching the video. Subscribe, like, share if you can. And um, if you're a patron, love you guys, praying for you every day. If you don't know what a patron is, they are people who have chosen to believe in us and, and become a $1 a month, some more than that, but a $1 a month partner to help us in our ministry. I'll put a link down below if you want to become one, but they get uh, special videos. I just kind of update them on our personal life and little things that God's been saying to me uh, throughout the day. So uh, blessings to you guys. We must spend time with God. We're going to talk practically about how to experience Him, experiencing and enjoying God from the scriptures. Thank you so much for signing up. I know the Lord is going to do something incredible in your life.